what's on the news today? I read the news today. The news channel, I think um, they're saying something about Animal Crossing having been canceled or something like that. Go to 3-1 and get a pixel? Okay. I had a, a crepe, a chocolate-filled crepe. It took 30 seconds to microwave. It's one of them Trader Joe items. And I want to tell you something. It was good. But I was told to microwave it at half power, and my microwave dead ass told me power level is unavailable at this time. I swear to God, I don't even know what that means. Hang on. Look, if I... It says here, power level may not be changed at this time. How the fuck is that helpful, microwave? How do I fix this? I need a solution. So, I blasted the crepe at full power for less time, and it came out great. And that is how the ruffians managed to best me. <laughs> they are strong, to be sure, very strong. Dare I say, they might be strong enough to defy the prophecy. Spare Count Black, your theatrics. The light prognosticus is false. The dark prognosticus holds the answer to eliminating heroes that rise to stop us. Oh my, that's the first time that morsel of information has touched my ears. Do tell! <laughs> it's in due time. Dementio in due time. One second. Be right with you guys. Oh, Nastasia, it's time we set him on the pests. Yeah, um, I can take care of that for you, Count. Hang on. Sorry, one second. Moving the chat over a little bit closer. Lovely, exclaimed Count Black. Return to your posts, my dear minions. As you command, Count Black. I don't even know whose voice that was. No one in this game has had that voice so far. Does something trouble you, Nastasia? Yeah, Count, you know, there's still time. Uh, you can still change your mind. That is enough, Nastasia. We've already, we've already come this far, and so, 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 <laughs> We've already come this far, so we shall forge on. But you needn't stay by Count Black's side. You can depart with my blessing. Um, no, my Count. I won't be doing that. My life is already sworn to you. Yeah, it's belonged to you since the day you saved me. I'll be sticking it out with you until my game ends. Okay? If that pleases you. My, 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 how interesting. Nastasia and the Count have such deep conversations. Oh, such deep conversations, hmm! Just what is our dear Count playing at? Ah, oh, well, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend to my own projects. Kill Jester. Nintendo sent me an email for Valentine's Day and it's just Toadette, like, winking at me. Uh, I feel attacked. And there's also Waluigi posing like John Travolta in Boogie Nights. Oh wait, no, he wasn't in that movie. Timpani, why? 
Why do you avoid me? Ow. Ow, unhand me. Huh? You're crying. Why? Timpani, you must tell me what has happened. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. Oh no, Timpani, is my father behind this? No, I'm just an ordinary girl. No matter how much I love you, we must part. See, perfect Valentine's Day stuff. Timpani, I... This is goodbye, Lumiere. There's no other choice. This is our fate. That was a little weird for a while, but we seem to have gotten through it okay. I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. And then you all... Oh, thank you so much. I mean... Want to know how to thank me, Bugface? Just stay out of my way, okay? Say, come to think of it, Bowser, could you be our third hero? Ho oh, there. I have been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your... Sorry, um... Did you succeed in your search for their next pure heart? I guess we did. Intriguing, so then. When you save Chippy, the next pure heart is to pee out? Hmm, how very interesting. I think that castle was once a dwelling of the ancients I told you of earlier. It seems that my ancestors have roamed far and wide in their dimensional travels. In the castle beyond the great sea, we hid a pure heart and sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in the Light for Jasmine. The seal could only have been broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. So you think it was because Tippy began to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing. And now there are three heroes. Ho ho! I, I don't know who the last one is, but waste no time in searching, my friends. Oh, please, come on, people. With me here, you don't need anybody else. Seriously! Trust me, any problems come... I'll stomp it into the next week. I'll Bowserize it. Oh, well met, Mr. Bowser. May your strength protect you at... Oh, oh. oh, it seems the void has expanded once more. Time is short. We have to keep going. Sorry, we have to keep going. We must start looking for the next heart pillar. There are matters I must attend to as well. I must search for any item of significance in the light prosciutto. Hmm. This is now a Bowser only stream. Okay, I've been informed that there's, um, Breadward is available now. Or if not Breadward, then some other pixel. Oh, right, this one. Whoa, now, you want to hear the three tips again? Just say the word. What are you talking about? I don't need no more stupid tips, all right? No more hints. No way, you defeated Francis? Whoa, 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 slow down. That's huge news. I'm just glad I can help with that daring mission to infiltrate the nerd layer. So, uh, I guess there's no need for me to stay here and give out tips. I guess I've done my job. I've got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, how about I tag it along with you guys? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm coming along whether you want me to or not. Barry the Prickly Pixel has joined your group. Use Barry to create a spiky barrier around you. There's plenty of dangerous types wandering out around out there. Let's stick together. It'll be safer for both of us that way.
I think I'm done here now. Vinny, advance through the level a bit and grab a superstar power up as Bowser. Yeah, Alright, why not? Wow. Your own. Why are you giving your own brother the old spicy keychain, Cooper? So I don't know why the spicy keychain's been coming up on stream lately. But, like, these are Bowser's filet mignons, and they're still attacking him. I guess they've been brainwashed, right? What's going on over there in the distance? Something, something in the distance there. And then there's these things. The fuck? Is that enemy just that cursed? Those gray guys will send you back to Flipside. Let me use the, um, the Christly. Each enemy, each one of those has a different curse effect. Okay. Try to keep that in mind. Oh, this is- oh, that's how you get into the background. Strikes enemies with lightning. I didn't have that one. I guess I'm just stuck down here forever. enemies with frigid shards of ice. <laughs> I, I like the noise he makes when he dies. He's just, oh! Vinny, use peach? Oh, fuck, you're right. I don't even know if it's worth it being here after all this time, anyway. So yeah, the Paper Mario series, some of the characters have different voices than they usually do. And yet... They're a little, a little crusty here and there.
you can... I see, I get it. I get it. Yeah, we're gonna be beeping, it's fine. Just, no. Just a second. Nope, that's not happening. I think this is Jay Perino's. Yep, can't do it. Someone just said, Vinny, I can confirm there is nothing over there. Nothing except Breadward. Oh man, I missed Breadward again. I keep missing him. I didn't do the superstar thing with Bowser, no. I guess we'll have to do that next time. But I have to buy some healing items. I have to sell some stuff, too. I remember I have some cooking items that I want to give to the, the to the chef. What? Oh god, what is this? Oh fuck. Don't forget you can store items too. Menus, they, they just keep, you know. You just have to keep going through the menu. You can't just, like, you know, click a bunch. Nintendo does that a lot with their games, like uh, the Earthbound series, for example, the Mother series. They like making it a little bit more difficult. Then again, Mario RPG did it. And it was a little annoying in Mario RPG, but... You know, it was still not too bad. Yeah, I had a life shroom at one point, and then I used it by accident. It's not my finest moment. Vinny, did you see the Screaming Link video yet? So this is another new thing. Whenever there's like a meat-related thing on the internet, or clown-related thing, people tell me about it, but now, screaming-related things. It's a Metal King Boo video.
Ajá. Okay. Okay. No, we don't know. We don't need more of that. Part two. It's not just gonna be part two, there's gonna be a part three, a part four. Warm milk warms the very soul of a man. Yeah, I, I can appreciate the effort. Um, where's the, the cook? Can he go 3D in there? Okay, hang on, hang on a minute. I have to get to the cook first. of a hundred trials in that room. I'm really excited to see who that fourth character is going to be. Oh, wow. The fourth character is going to be Blue Toad. What, what do we call Blue Toad? Blowed. Casino, maybe? Oh, I am most pleased. Another gaming customer has found us. Welcome to the Palace of Gaming Pleasure. The Arcade! Not a casino. I am the master of this fine establishment. You may call me the Interchet. It's a pleasure to rob you. I mean, meet you. Now that the introductions are out of the way, let me tell you about this place. This is the Arcade, a place for gamers to enjoy gaming. To play games, you must first purchase flipside tokens. And then you need to turn that card around. Get them digits. Them wacky ones. Just come see me with a few coins and I will give you the tokens you need. But you cannot return tokens for coins, so be careful. Oh, so careful, gamer. And once you have some tokens, enter this neato entry to the left. You may play fun games until you run out of tokens. You will love it, gamer. But now I have crucial information. Get a good score to receive tokens back. Collect a lot of tokens and turn them in for wonderful prizes. Play the games, get good, and earn prizes, gamer. Oh, Arcade, it's a paradise. Uh, yeah, I see. It's really nice. A gamer seeks entertainment. What can I do for you? I will get five tokens. This, this gamer only wants five tokens. Tell me, pal, have you tried your hand at the game known as Forget Me Not Yet? It's, uh, I was gonna read that as Forget Me Not Yet. It's quite simple, I assure you. Just remember all the cards you turn over. Oh, wait. I suppose not everyone has an elite memory like me. I doubt you will be beating my high scores. Haha, <laughs> well, good luck, pal. Dang, dang, dang it all! Stupid ghost game, why is it gonna be so hard? Can't rack up any points. Is that controller working right or what? Already spent 100 coins, I even spent my lunch money, but I won't give up. Hear me now, ghost game, I'm coming for you! It's Vinny? Yeah. All of these will... Why would you sell me five tokens? If you know the games can't be played with five tokens. Mm. 
I want to see each game once, at least. And this is also, you know, this is something that we've seen in, in Mario RPG-ish games. The, the casino seems to be a bit of a staple. I remember Knife Guy's Casino it was like... When Mario RPG came out, getting into the casino was like rare. It was a big secret. much with too little time. And I missed it. I was scratching my ear. There's a chunks. Yeah, there's the chunks over there. Okay, let's make a guess here. Shotgun. Oh wait, they free your you know you, you get uh you get cleared. Your failures are wiped away. Fucking rounds are there. Infinite, it goes until you lose. Oh, God. What am I doing with my life? Here's a question. Is there a good reward for getting to at least, like, 10, for example? Alright, well, you know, it's over now. That's what happens. You get tokens back, and then you can trade them in. Hort? There's someone named Hort. Mansion patrol. I don't need no stinking rules. I'm gonna grump it! 
Luigi's mansion. That's close enough to Luigi's mansion. Why does this music sound familiar? Diddy Kong Racing? I just killed a toad. Oh, yeah, that melody right there. Yeah. And then it goes... Get combos, you can't miss. But I'm already bored, so I'm just going to let the booze kill me. In a second. I mean, it's nice that there's some mini-games in here, even if they're more, um, it's not casino games necessarily, but I, I like the, uh, I like the effort, I like the attempt, and you get some good motion control pointy wointies if that's what you love about the Wii. My favorite part of the Wii were the graphics. In a time when games looked really good, the Wii looked ass-tounding. Two GameCubes duct taped together. Well, it certainly kept the price down. It takes a while to earn tokens, doesn't it? And it. Tit Island! Sorry. Fungul! Some Mario World reminiscence here. So you don't actually control Mario, you control the level, and then Mario just walks, you know, uh, in whatever direction is lowest. Oh my god, low <laughs> lowest. I, you know, those peaches are at this point in my life. I just can't look at, at a peach and it designed in a cartoon way like that anymore. 
I thought this was Tit Island. Why is it Butt Island? Oh, I can kill now. This one's pretty cool. I missed something very important. So yeah, that uh, my day today was was I went shopping and I bought more of that fucking banana juice, the banana strawberry orange. I might be a little bit addicted to that shit. I also got a weird lemonade. I like their lemonade. They make good lemonade. It was like, what's the hard mode in Metal Gear Solid? European Extreme. It was like European Extreme uh, lemonade. get more points for matching fruit? Okay. 866 six, fruit. That's okay. Some yeah, the, the mini games are pretty decent. I don't know if I'd spend a ton of time on them unless the rewards were especially amazing, but this Hort character keeps fucking winning. God. Whack-a-bump. Oh, I remember these. These were in, um, Thousand Year Door, right? You'd, you'd hit the whacka, you'd get the bump, and it was just a really great healing item. They're in ever every Paper Mario game. They're in ever Paper Mario. Amazy Daisy. Raises max HP by five. Wow. And uh Yeah, some of these are pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna get the loot box. For you, stalwart gamer, this game fucking predicted current year gaming. Whack a bump. Whack a bump. Your defense has increased. permanent additions to my inventory. I'll keep one. Cook the loot box, it gives you good food. Point Tippy to the green guy. That's Hort, the Iron Man of games. He plays like a professional. He's back in the arcade again today looking for a worthy adversary. He's a master of games, not just the game of love.
Vinny, are you sure that lemonade wasn't piss? Not entirely. I'll be real with you, I don't know. I haven't had it yet, though. In any case, it's red. Oh wait, that's even worse. Oh no, I'm a dying! Greetings, the name's Flim. Freelance sales freak, fully licensed and bonded. Sell anything, sell to anyone, sell big, sell often, sell now, my slogan, trademarked. Uh, sell self is so hard to find, not even I can find it. Yeah, you heard me right. <clears throat> so look, then buy. Rare item. Moist mango, huh? Oh, he's got different stuff in stock each time. Bab house? Vinny, now that you have the Wii, are you gonna play Kirby? That- that's- if it weren't for my horse... I wouldn't have spent that year in college. Uh, Return to Dreamland? I've, I've streamed that years ago. Um... I've had a Wii. I've- I've, you know, I've had a Wii. For a long time now. So yeah, I've, I've streamed lots of Kirby. I don't, I don't have any plans to stream another Kirby right now. Okay, bring me an ingredient, sugar. I'll whip up a dish. Let's see. Which, which, which? W-U-T-C-H, watch, cake mix. So, Sugar, you want me to create a dish for you with the cake mix. Delicious dish. I'm not reading that. Done. Enjoy the yum, Sugar. Uh, sweet cookies that restore 10 HP and cure poison. Oh, this is the first time I've made this dish for you. I'll add this to my recipe list. Remember, Sugar, if you find new ingredients, you bring them on by to me. So what happens if I cook the loot box? You get a mistake? Choppy bubbly yum, put it in your tummy. One more second and then... Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, well, these things happen, sugar. <clears throat> Why is there a fish in that mistake? It'll update every time you bring in recipe data. I obviously do not have a DS connected. 
Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, it's just, it gives you the informations. This isn't a DS connection thing. Oh, I thought it was that. It's just a recipe list. Oh god. It's so raw, it's crawling off the plate! Use the cartridge? I don't know what that means. You just did? Oh, someone told me to do a thing I was doing already. Alright, well, you know, that's cool. There's a recipe list. Oh yeah! We're gonna get wet! Feet! Good time! I should have taken a nap. Hey, Grandma, what do I need to do to live as long as you? Oh, that's simple, my dear. Don't be a picky eater. You have to eat a varied diet. Perfect. I eat from all the candy food groups. My granddaughter's going to die. My name's Muffet. I like muffins. That's a Heronicus. He was once an explorer. He knows much about the other lands. But he's since retired from exploration, but certain smells bring back memories. Something's wrong with me tonight. <laughs> Snorf! Mmm, you smell of uh, meow, mate. You are a nerd, I deem. I was once like you. I would line up for hours to get treasure. Oh, I was a fanatic. But I'm tired of that. I do not wish to bore you. If it pleases you, come and visit me another time. Ah, oh, what is that smell? Lack of deodorant. That's Pearl. She's Betsy's super sweet grandmother. She has a dark past here. It's hard to believe she was once called Razor Pearl. She has many, many stories, but most she cannot tell. Oh, dearie, I once killed... I once killed someone with my pinky. Hmm, I poked it through their eye hole, squishing their eyeball, dearie. Ever see Flim the Salesman? That guy sells some of the craziest stuff. It's great! Set up shop underground somewhere. If you're interested, try to find him. That's a space rift. I hear these things form to conceal hidden things. Hello, welcome to my shop. Catch the dr catch a dream. We sell novels so small they fit on cards. First time here? Right oh, right oh. Uh, available for purchase today, we have card bags and catch cards. A uh, card bag is a little satchel that holds a single filled catch card. You won't know the character on it until you purchase it. Oh, such a hitty excitement. The catch card is an amazing thing. Use it on an enemy and the foe turns into a card. But you can use them, but once, if your foe is too powerful, it might not work. Oh. And you have. If you have cards you no longer need, I would be glad to purchase them. Such are my wares, my dear prospective customer. Do you want to hear that again? This this game has... Why am I doing this again? This game has lots of gambling. Oh god, it's the owl. Stop! Card bag for 10 coins, let's see. Inside the bag lurk Pink Fuzzy, take it! For it is yours! Hmm. 
Vinny, remember cards of enemies give damage multipliers. So the more cards you have of a I can't even speak tonight. This is gonna be a rough stream, fellas. Um, the more you have of a specific card, the more damage you do. Which is why you don't want to sell them. Oh, no, no, what to do? The deadline's on me, and I've got nothing, nothing! I feel like I've had some ideas, but when I try to remember them, they're gone! So mysterious and so very awfully bad! Eight blocks, each color once. Okay, so now I have to find the, um, the thing. The heart pillar? Sure, whatever you say. I got the same card again. My luck really stinks today. Why can't I get more rare cards? Why? Why? I never get any! They should really put more of those, those in these packs. What? What am I fighting for? We're trying a bunch of different voices tonight. Do you remember when I did that one voice during Skyrim? Was it Skyrim? Yeah, I think it was Skyrim. And it was like new voice unlocked. And it was something like that, but better. And then I just never remembered how to do it. surprised you are finding me. I am called Welderberg. I'm the Iron Man of forging of pipes. Have you ever thought, ah, taking so long to get around town? Yeah, me too. And so, it is my life's work to make pipes for the transportation. I have inspected here. Yeah. I'm thinking I can make the pipe to Flipside Tower's base. What do you think of this? You are covering cost of materials and labor, yeah? I could make such a pipe. You are looking not very rich. How about, uh, how's a hundred coins? Are we having a deal? Vinny, I think he's Swedish. Oh. Or he's German. Uh, this is... This is good thing, yeah? I am getting started. Uh, you are staying out of the way. Could you imagine, like, you just your whole life changes in the span of a couple minutes? This pipe is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. You are using it whenever, yeah? Life is short, so uh, it is smart to take the direct way, yeah? You spent it uh, with wisdom. Well, I am going. Like, your, your whole life, you have one personality, and then you just start, like, sounding like a completely different person with a different inflection. It's because your voice actor decided to portray you differently.
Or the old voice actor quit. Yeah. Or got fired. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and ask you to not come on in anymore, okay? We here at Activision Blizzard are pleased to announce the most successful we've ever been. Which is why we're hi we're firing all of our voice talent. Oh no! Act active lizard. Yeah, I was up there already. I think my voice actor's on break tonight. Honestly, I'm feeling so weird. Someone said, this is where I left off. I have no idea how to get past this. Well, the, we can't do that yet. figure this out. Someone just said girth poles. I will keep an eye open for girth poles. I, I should have just taken the damage. Oh, here's... Oh, Girth Pole. I mean, you, you have to assume that if you get a new pixel, it has something to do with that, but... It's just a little, um, tricky remembering all the, the secret spots. Also, that black hole in the distance is looking mighty big. So, there's a s several- oh oh, 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 
Stop. That was a New York City garbage man realizing his true potential and solving the crossword puzzle. It, it took him a year. But finally he did it. Don't you hate it when that happens? The fucking Tetris game already has its own memes. It's been a day. Yeah, the John Wick one was good. Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and Mario gang grew closer. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world. I, I'm not gonna sing it. That beckoned to them both. Yo! What awaited was vaster and stranger than anything they'd have encountered so far. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure far out trials, new ones too, with the wackiest of digits. I'm glad I can play now and maybe read a little bit less. Because reading is not my high point tonight. Smash. Finale Frontier. Mm, stars everywhere. I believe we're out in outer space. Almost certainly. What troubles you, Mario? Ah, yes, of course. We seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? Oh, oh gracious me, what am I to do? Um, well, let me see. Um, then, well, uh, but so, no! Was that just the fucking ping from Echoes? Yo! That was Echoes! I wouldn't be surprised if they sampled that. Just lowered the pitch a little bit. Hey, uh, please wake up. You're alright, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. I don't really know how I got us all out of there. It just sort of happened. We won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Marlon's advice. No, I want to die. It's far too dangerous for us to venture back out into space unprepared. I might not be able to save us again. Let's go back once we're sure we'll be safe. Vinny, remember when you said you could finally play? Those were the days, weren't they? Tippy apparently is a is a god in the making.
You want me to save the game? Oh no. Oh, that was certainly quick work. You already found the next pure heart? No, Merlin. That door led us straight into outer space. Space! Oh ho, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? No. Well, if you had a space helmet, you would be all right, I imagine. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. I just so happen to... Oh, blast it. What now? Oh, double blast it all. I cleaned out my shelves the, the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space. And I gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. It seemed more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. Someone uh, just said in chat five times in the past... Uh, half hour, so you should, Vinny, you should guest on Impractical Jokers. Shall I just call them then? <laughs> While I'm at it, I'd, um,. I'd also maybe like to get, um, a starring role in Star Trek Discovery. Is Discovery good, Vin? Ah. I don't know, I haven't watched it in a while. The, um, means to which I was able to watch Star Trek Discovery, uh, ran out, and I just stopped caring. I just don't want to pay CBS for all access for one TV show. Is it good? Is it good? Uh, the last episode I saw was good, which is the one that Jonathan Frakes directed. Vinny, go back to the other side of the pool. What, all the way down? No? On the top floor? Side second floor. Okay. Then you can push one and two to skip the elevator scene. Okay. Because, yeah, traversing the town is not my favorite thing to do. That helps a little bit. Oh. Well, there it is. In my line, give me something like a helmet. I mean, this fishbowl? Yeah. I kept the cup of days here in a cup, but then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got really happy when I got this fishbowl. Thing is, now the captain got so big, the bowl got too small for him. I don't know, maybe you can find a nice place to set the captain goes free for me. Cap captain deserves freedom. 
Then you get in the fishbowl. That's good, huh? Hmm. Where can we go? I wanna, I wanna know it's a happy nibble at all times. What is this voice? Where the fuck did this voice come from? You have to help me. <laughs> New voice unlocked, but nobody wanted it. Wait, I don't even want to argue, you're right. You can't enter a pipe when someone's nearby. Someone just said, alright, now bring the fish to the chef. Mistake. It's amazing how how little I've actually played. Aside from just like casino games and wandering around town. Now we can go to space, so let's head back to that door. So we'll just use a fish bowl to uh, breathe in space, shall we? The, um, the, the people are telling me to save. Even though I kind of just saved not too long ago. Again, I'm too tired to argue. <laughs> You ever fallen asleep on stream? Mm, not that I can remember. Want to use the helmet? No. Well, what do you think? Can you breathe now? Very well, let's go then. The pure heart is somewhere in this sea of stars. Oh yeah! I'm gonna breathe in... The carbon dioxide! Vinny, you can refuse and die? SOS. fuck is going on? I also like that I just ground pounded at the bottom of space. Sausage.
sauce. God, what do you mean, sauce? There's something here. What in the world is this? Why was this hidden here? Do they have cloaking technology? Don't they know that's illegal in the Federation? Were they Romulans? Hmm, this is a spaceship. Looks rather like it. It's a squid. Squirp! Squirple, squirple, squinks. Morning, squirp. Oh dear, who are you? An alien, perhaps? A meat world. You're the ones looking for the pure hearts, Squirple? Hmm, cuter than I thought. How do you know about the pure heart? And about us? Are you allied with Count Black? I demand answers. You yeah, scary faces. You can call me Squirps. I'm your captain, Squirk. And if you want the pure heart, we need to work together, Squirp. Whatever do you mean, please explain yourself. Squirps can't tell much now, but you must trust Squirps. Now, follow me, Squinks. We won't be doing that. Squack! You! You heed the captain! You are a space grunt now! And that is the only rule! Your only response should be yes, sir, and gotcha! Understand, Squirkle? These aren't real words. Stop. Square, square, square! Looks like you understand your place, Squirp! Are you okay with this? If, if you say so. Great, let's get ready then, Squirp Formation Squirrel! Oh, God. Well, Squirp directly to the pure heart. It's like warping, except Squirp's invented it. In order to Squirp, we need a lot of energy, Squirk! You're all brimming with power up power, right? But you must give it to Squirps. Press A and hold until you've built up enough power up power, then release. Success! And here we go! Squirp! I'm going to squirp. Squirp speed. Squirrel? We're not even close to our destination, Squirps. Is that all the power of power you have, Squirp? Good for nothing, Space Grunt. Squirps was an idiot for thinking you had more. Well, good for nothings have their own good for nothing ways of moving, Squank. There's a ways to go before you reach the pure heart. We must space swim. Use two to shoot enemies with my Squirp Squirt Beam. Squirp fire, Space Grunt. Charge! Oh, it's a shooter now. So there was, like, Bowser dialogue that I missed. I guess, you know, no, no matter what character you use, you're gonna miss dialogue. Unless you're Mario, in which case you're, you know, you just don't get the dialogue. Again, this is certainly not what I was expecting. There is no charge shot. This game is is charming in so many ways.
though I'm not necessarily sure how I feel about it turning into a space shooter. Someone said I need breadwood for charge shots. I'm gonna be real disappointed when I finally get breadwood, and the only thing it does is fucking create one HP items one at a time. It's just gonna be like moldy bread creation unit. Vinny, what's your favorite type of bread? Uh, so we went from ice cream to bread. I guess... Does pizza dough count? I mean garlic bread, but here's the thing, different bakeries have different types of bread, so I could say French bread or Italian bread. But that doesn't necessarily describe the differences between these things. Like you can you can have a bakery or a pizza place give you really, really good bread. Like there's this one place. There's this one place in the city that does I forget the name of it, but it's a really good sandwich place. And they have amazing bread, and it makes their sandwiches way better. And they make their own bread. So, I can just say, you know, like, French bread. Or whatever. But deep down, I know I've had shitty French bread. I've even had, like, pathetic garlic bread, too. Garlic bread's usually my go-to answer for something like that. I love garlic bread. But, do you ever, like, have just sad garlic bread? Where it's just, like... You know, just, like... Chunks of garlic on the bread with no attempt to actually make it into a thing. Someone just said, toast and garlic powder. Oh, please. God, that was painful to hear. What's your favorite flavor of potato chip? I feel like I'm filling out an application. This'll make it into Q&A video number two, right? Am I missing anything special, or should I just go in this? Um, I like... Uh, the salt and vinegar chips. I don't know if they're my favorite, but they're close. Um, sour cream and onion. Mario and the gang cruise through space. Led by. Led by. The young alien named Squirps. What kind of creatures was it anyway? And what was with those weird noises? Whenever confronted with a question, it would say, Squirps is Squirps, Squawk. This is Squawk. All they could do was trust that he knew where the pure heart was and follow him. They were doing just that when something appeared ahead of them. It was a teeny tiny planet. Cartoon Shatner. Not even close to real Shatner. But whenever someone does a Shatner impression, it's always that. Myself included. This planet really seems on the small side. Just where do you intend to take us? What condiments do you put on a hot dog? Here we go. Dear God. 
Somewhere on this planet should be, oh, somewhere on this planet should be an entrance to the space byway, Squirk. Yep, it's a shortcut to the pure heart. But really? You don't say, and where might that entrance be? Squirt, 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 you're gonna laugh, Squag. It's, ah, uh, Squirps forgot. Ugh, I knew it. All along, I knew something was off about this deal. You, Space Niblet. I didn't trust you from the beginning. Squaw! What in the... Now I'm talking like you! Don't look at Squirps like that. Everything is fine. I think there probably should be some clues around here somewhere, Squirple. What a wretch. What is it? Did you remember something? No, I, I have to go potty. I really have to go, Squirk. I, I just can't hold it anymore. Let's look for some clues ourselves. Huh. Someone's in here. Here I see the more awaiting you, amore. No more, no more, amore. This is no time for some silly song, Squirple. I've got a bathroom emergency here. A hundred years ago, amore, I came here to go, amore. So bored, so bored, amore. No toilet paper here, amore. I'll wait a hundred years, amore. Wait for what for, amore? And the paper, please, amore. Just a sheet for me, amore. Implore, implore, amore. The, someone has been taking a shit for a hundred years. And there's no toilet paper. We have to find toilet paper. What is this game? Whoa, is that toilet paper? That thing is elongator. It can stretch beyond the limits of imagination. It likes to stretch its neck at enemies. Watch where you land near them. They look relaxed, but they can get aggressive. My favorite hot dog condiment. I like um I like sauerkraut and and mustard and ketchup. And the the fucking on I love the onions. You know those onions in the sauce? What someone just said, what the fuck is sauerkraut? People are like gross. I don't put all of those on the hot dog at the same time, by the way. Sometimes it's just one. I don't like the idea of doing, you know, like, a million different condiments on one hot dog. Usually one or two. For people that were saying sauerkraut is gross... I mean, that's just like your opinion, man. But that's also a New York thing, too. Like, if you're in Chicago, there's a different style of hot dog that they, you know, specialize in. They put, like, fucking pickles and gherkins on them shits. But, um, uh, yeah, really, like, high-quality sauerkraut on, like, German food. Worst kraut. Uh, not kraut. Uh, worst and, uh, kielbasa. Stuff like that. Is good. Um, but I also... Yeah, I like that stuff. What are the, the onions are my favorite, though, I think. There's this... They sell it. You can buy it. And it's, it's good. Some people make it homemade, but I almost never see that. But it's just this sauce. And it's got onions in it. And it's great. And it's... I don't get it. I don't get why it's so fucking good, but it's amazing. Yeah, it's caramelized. They're caramelized onions in the sauce. 
S A W O Z. Swords, swords. Lenny, did you ever eat a big bowl of sauerkraut? Dave, listen closely. Dave edited the video for the vine sauce question and answer. Listen closely. Today's questions are verboten. If there's a part two, zero of these questions. These are... Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, no, I've never eaten a big bowl of sauerkraut. It's just good on the side of German food. And, uh, there's a couple German restaurants that I like that do just that. Kielbasa is Polish? It is, isn't it? Well, they do kielbasa at the, uh, the German place I go to. Honey mustard with hot dog, but I don't know. Ah, I could try it. I would try it. I don't think. I like honey mustard. I don't know if I would go for that on a hot dog. Is this ever helpful? Oh, you got big coin and point. Vinny, how do you feel about mayo as a condiment? I have no problem with mayo. I think it has to be used on the right stuff. Um... In Japan, mayo is huge, I've learned. I love it there. I just think it's, the, it's you know, reserved for the correct sandwich, and it can be good. I like, um, you know, I like oil vinegar on my sandwich. Most of the time, honestly. And then that's that's good stuff. Depending on the sandwich, but oil vinegar makes a good uh, combo. Opinions on liverwurst? No. I'd say no is my answer. Vinny. Hang on, I got one more question I want to answer. Hang on, this is a good one, because I have an answer. Vinny, do you think you'd ever be willing to put together a list of restaurants you'd like around New York City? I always like to try new places, and when I'm out there and having new destinations in the boroughs other than Manhattan would be nice, since I don't know them well. So, Dave... I think you're also... Dave is a very useful person. I'm sorry to put it like that, but it's true. Um, yeah, he wants your list. So Dave and his friends are foodies, well, his friends are foodies, and, um, they compiled a list of their favorite places in the city that have amazing food, and I just got that list, and, uh, it's, it seems like this list is about to be famous. Famous anus cookies, that's right. But I, uh, I have a couple places, but I don't know that many places. I know a lot of pizza places and stuff like that. Bloog, aren't you fancy? Let me guess, you're hunting the treasure too, right? Well, go look for the Elder. He knows stuff about things. Me? I plan on lounging. Bloog. <laughs> <laughs> Bloog. <laughs> this young lady is blop up. Blollop. She's a native of the planet Blobule. Space is vast, but the young are the same no matter what world they hail from. Uh, 
Vinny, do you have a favorite Jewish deli? Um, Russ and Daughters in Manhattan. It's near Katz's Deli, but they do equally as good pastrami and corned beef sandwiches. And Harold's in New Jersey. Nice. Level up. I want to say, if anyone lives in New Jersey, closest to New York, look up Harold's Deli. You will go there, and you will eat forever. It's a little expensive, but you get portions that can feed an army, and it's just... Oh, it's so, so good. That's actually, um, incidentally, that was on um, Dave's friends list of uh, good New York food. Harold was on there already, so. Harold's is the most overrated restaurant I've ever been to, says someone in chat. Well, there you go. Now you have a counterpoint. And then you can, um, you have a reason not to go now, chat. Penitent man shall pass. Oh, wait, no, that one was, um... The other one. No, penitent was the, um... The one where he has to kneel. Do you get little Bowsers if you hit that block as Bowser? A leap of faith. I think I just missed out on a bunch of coins. I like Harold's a lot. Maybe you didn't get the right thing. I like the, the they have a, a pickle bar where you can get as much like coleslaw, um, salad, uh, pickles of ver many different kinds, peppers, and bread. As much of that stuff as you want for free. And you can just keep on going up and getting it. Whatever you want. It's so good. You combine that with the brisket. Or the pastrami. Unbelievable. And they have good onion rings, too. That's a hooligan. They are space creatures that are made of many parts. Max HP is 10, attack is 2. It loses pieces of itself as it takes damage. The head is the weak spot to hit it there to defeat it. I'm not even hungry. I don't know why I'm talking about food. Like, I had a really, you know, I had a really decently sized lunch. Sorry, everybody. This is 3 a.m. food chat, and I did not plan on this happening. Vinny, Michael Scott said the best place to eat in New York is Sabaro's. Is that a good is that good advice? Sabaro is authentic New York pizza that you can only get in New York. In this case, Michael Scott is totally on point.
Ooga customer rare. Look, why not take a load off? Moving is tiring. Was that space by way? Ooh, I haven't. Ooh, oh, ooh, haven't seen one. Haven't eaten one either. Where to in such a hurry? Space is endless. Ooh, you ought to take your time. Wait, I had a Sabaro in the mall where I lived at, but it closed down and was replaced by a subway. Someone said, wait, Sabaro, the place they have in every Ohio mall? Dude, you have Sabaros now? No! That's the best New York pizza! That's amazing! You gotta try it. Don't, actually, it's fucking trash. Don't, don't bother. If you're in New York and you get Sabaro, I'm gonna, uh, listen. Listen. I wonder if the guy who said Harold was overrated like Sabaro's better, even though it's like apples to oranges. I'm just curious. But, you know, here's the thing about, about taste when it comes to food. Some people eat balut. You can look up balut. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to gross people out. Some people eat that, and some people like it. So, when I see people in chat like, Oh, mustard's disgusting. Pickles are disgusting. I have to remind myself. Like, I think to myself, like, well, how could someone not like that? But then I have to think... Oh, people eat tarantulas for pleasure. So, I mean, culturally, there's, there's different, there's different things that people eat, but there's also different tastes, like, different, you know, people, people like, uh, people like ass-flavored potato chip. Poop coffee? Yeah, there is a poop coffee. I believe the bean grows on poop or something, or in poop, or like, it, it's pooped out of a thing. Fuck! Sorry, I got the star as Mario again. It's a habit. I can't, you know, it's a hard habit to, to break. from amazing food to literal poop food. Yeah, sorry about that, but... In in the interest of conversation, we do have to cover a wide variety of, of things. Because we live in a crazy big old world that has a lot of different things that people like and dislike, and some of that is poop coffee. Thank <laughs> you. 
Vinny, what do you think of the more exotic taco meats like tripe, tongue, and head? Uh, I'm not an adventurous eater. You might want to talk to my friend Mike about adventurous eating. I'm not that guy. I'm pretty stock standard. I, I mean, you know, I'll eat a lot of different types of vegetables and, and food. Uh, I'm not really that adventurous, though. I won't, I won't go... I won't go into that territory. My friend Tyler is an adventurous eater, too. And, my, and Joe, uh, that I talk about on stream. Uh, Studio Joe. He likes a lot of different weird stuff that you might find in the city. I feel like I'm kind of the odd man out in that, in that sense, because I just, uh... I like a wide variety of things within my... genre. Which I guess applies to music, too, if you think about it. Greetings, young explorer. Welcome to this remote land. You must be Bushed Bloog. I'm what's known as an active senior explorer. The name's Blappy. I'm 72. On <laughs> Ford, in my youth, while well, everyone hunted for snacks, I hunted the big treasure of space. It's big, it's treasure, and it would be mine at last. I found a clue in the space ruins. So, explorer to explorer, I'll cut you a deal, blue, the clue for a thousand coins. You buy it? Too rich for my blood. What? Too expensive? Or well, maybe a little, boog. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got a touch of, uh, lard lung. Anyway, I'll cut you a deal. How's a hundred coins? No. You're shady. What? Wondering why I'm not looking for the treasure myself? I'm old, I'm portly, and I did look, Bloog. I just didn't find anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, fine. Ten coins. <laughs> the scroll has the following words scribbled on it. By Rockman's noggin, when outer space is reversed, the door secret hides. I'm through with you, Blue. Go home now. So, what is that hole with the red thing coming out of it? I guess maybe I did just get some toilet paper, huh? You like avocados. It's a divisive food. A lot of people don't like avocados, which I find crazy. I am not an avocado person. I don't like avocados, no. I don't hate them. If you mean that people that hate avocados, and I see several in chat that hate them, uh, I'm not like a hater upon avocado. But I don't get it. I enjoy guacamole. I don't think it's the best thing ever. If I have to choose between guaca, guaca and salsa, I'll go for salsa. But I can tell you that I think mango... Not mango, what am I talking about? Avocado. There's a blue apron, uh, Really, Vin? 
there was a Blue Apron recipe I had that wanted me to do avocado slices like in a, like a salad form with salt, pepper, oil on them and um, some lettuce. And I, I was, you know, I was like, wow, this is really bland. I don't get it. But there's another aspect to um, the whole food debate with cilantro, for example. Some people think it tastes like soap. Apparently that's just a thing that you have on your, you know, it, it's like a genetic thing. You either think it tastes like soap or you don't. I don't think it tastes like soap, but I don't... If I can avoid cilantro, I will do so. I don't think it's the same thing for avocados, but... Where some people tell me that it's the best ever, and they'll have it on toast every morning. I'm just like, yeah, no, dog. Vegemite? Well, Vegemite's a thing, too, in, you know, Australia. But you have to understand that it's a cultural thing. Like, if you grow up with Vegemite, and you figure out how to do it, which is like a thin layer of butter, and a super thin layer of Vegemite. Not too bad. I tried it. Now, if I grew up, and my parents were giving me that, Then, uh, I, I would have, yeah, I'd probably like that, and I'd probably like, you know, be nostalgic for it, but actually just eating Vegemite, plain old Vegemite, you, you've seen the video, it's, uh, no thanks. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of backtracking in this, this is not, I, I like the theme of the space world, but I don't love the amount of backtracking and the amount of, like, empty. So, it's a good thing we're having this discussion about avocados, aren't we? Vinny, what did you do with that jar of Vegemite? I buried it in the woods. No, it's on my counter somewhere. Squirps! It's occupied, Sprinkle, and whoever's in there won't come out! This rate, Squirps is gonna have to have an accident. Any paper, please, amore. Just a sheet for me, amore. Implore, implore, amore. Papes, papes, amore. Love the papes, amore. Oh, more, 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 more. Sleep as I waited for you. At last we meet, me amore, my sweet, sweet baby. And now we do the part. Amore, for down we... Uh, for down you depart. Amore, no more, no more, amore. Singing about flushing toilet paper, like shitty toilet paper. Squirps can't take it anymore. Squirps will burst. Evacuate all personnel. Relief! It's a paper miracle! Fleep is a feeling good! You bring Fleep the happy? Fleep has been waiting so long for you, amore! See, for this moment, oh! We pixels are helpful too, see? But we have to, we have no choose masters! Be they good or bad! Still, Fleep has the passion to be used for something! So Fleep waited here, amore! And now you found the Fleep Amore, oh thank you Deep Amore. From this moment, oh, you and Fleep are as one, we shall never part. Fleep are you Amore, companion true Amore. Vinny, this is your worst voice ever. So tell me, Vinny, what, what's your worst voice you ever done? Huh? You like bow ties? 
the reversible pixel named Fleep joined your group. Use Fleep and you can turn over sections of the screen. Something good might be hiding back there for you to pick up. On the back side of the sand is the happy. We will find it. You and Fleep are more. Oh, Squirps needed that. Okay, let's go look for the entry to the space bypass, Squibble. Some people like Balut, and some people don't like Balut. You either like my voices or you don't. And if you like them, then you, you like Balut. This game has infinite secrets and multiple tools for which to find them. So Fleep is used for one thing, in one spot. Cool. Well, it makes some enemies dizzy, I think. Bowser's having a little bit of difficulty. Okay, it's time for me to stop. This was such an off day for me to begin with. And now... It's time for me to go to bed. Yeah, it's 3.30. It's time anyway. Mario and friends head... Uh, you know what? Doesn't... We don't do this now. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to... Unzoom this now. Excuse me. That way next time... I stream something other than the Wii, it won't be zoomed in by accident. Okay, I gotta figure out this monitor shit. Um, I see some people contacted me about the monitor. Thank you for that. <laughs> 